going to be more into the logistic on uh, what's really going to happen here. Uh, but don't be afraid, it's going to be quite simple. But since we are on a tight uh, agenda, uh, we prefer to kind of introduce everything now, like that tomorrow everything will be too smooth, sorry. Uh, and we'll be able to uh, yeah, change the world, or at least contribute a bit. Uh, <coughs> so, just to start with, who am I? Uh, and why I'm here? Uh, I'm already uh, evoked twice, so one of the main reasons... Uh, uh, one of the main reasons, of course, is that uh, I'm on Twitter, and so that <laughs> helped a lot of uh, being here. The second reason is this one, I'm part of Biotel. Uh, and then, yeah, just to give you some background, so I, I've made a PhD in virtual reality. Actually, my, my, uh, I, I've just realized we have kind of a parallel, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, car, early career. Uh, so I'm French as well, you might have noticed. Uh, I've, I have some background in biology, I did a, a bachelor and a, a master in biology, and then during my PhD I went into computing. Uh, I didn't go only on, so I used some GPU, but to do some virtual reality. And the idea was how to, we can explore and analyze uh, molecular data in, a, in virtual reality. Uh, so it was a lot of fun, a lot of things. Uh, but then I get back to uh, what I liked as well, which is the modeling. Uh, so I'm now, now a postdoc in uh, Alexandre Bonhans team in a computational structural biology, where uh, I do uh, more integration of scientific software on his Haddock. Uh, that we develop uh, in Utrecht uh, within efficient framework where we interface web portals to give the opportunity to uh, any user with any experience with uh, computing uh, to use some uh, some HCC resources to run their uh, their job, their docking run for instance, but we have many other uh, software. Uh, I said it already, I'm part of uh, BioExcel, a uh, European project. Um, so I'm working as well with uh, Eric, Ross and Mark for instance uh, on some uh, on some programmatic which involve core software on one side, so we have Haddock, Romax, uh, PMX, and this kind of software where, that we try to improve, so from the uh, code point of view. Uh, and also try to, sp to spread a bit the best practices and expertise in the community, so try to have, uh, try to find uh, good ways to have this development done. Uh, it goes from, uh, I don't know, uh, South versioning, uh, to uh, yeah, to just have some training and things like that. So everything under under the bar exam. Uh, and the last reason I'm here is uh, I'm also part uh, within the CSB team in the Bombona of the IHM uh, task force. IHM standing for Integrative and Hybrid Mode Methods, uh, and it's led by the by the PDB. Uh, and it gather uh, the group of Sally Andre Stali in San Francisco, uh, Camerix uh, developers uh, on us to design the new. MMC uh, extension, uh, which is called IHM MMC, uh, nothing fancy here, uh, which aims to add some metadata uh, to make modeling process reproducible within one file format. Uh, I won't go into detail because Alex will talk about it uh, tomorrow morning. If you are curious, you can go on this uh, on this website. Uh, but that's I think part of that of that work is kind of common with what we're going to discuss uh, the following two days. So that's part also my motivation and our motivation to participate to this uh, to this work. Okay, uh, enough about me. I was already too long. Um, so we'll have you might have seen in the agenda four uh, topic-driven sessions. Uh, so four uh, main topics: uh, standardization of file formats, chaired by uh, Mark. Uh, tools for trajectory file sharing, chaired by Daniel. Uh, streamlining molecular simulation data, uh, chaired by John. Or reproducibility of molecular simulation, chaired by Cam. Uh, I, I've added, just as information, how long it's going to take, just to give you an idea. We have about two hours and a half, two hours, 45 minutes uh, for each station, so it's going to be tight. It's going to be, you, you love to be, uh, to be active. And we're going to help you uh, for that. How we're going to help you? Uh, we thought of a way to try to uh, suck your brain and try to uh, get as many ideas as we can. Uh, so we split it each, each uh, station within a uh, within few blocks. As you can see, the blue box are the ones uh, that, you're about, that are going to be recorded. Uh, if you all agree with that, uh, if you don't, just tell us. Um, so, the first block will be 15 minute presentation from the chat. So, we are a bit flexible on the timing, but it needs to fit within two hours on that, okay? And there are some parts that are a bit more important than the other, okay? So, 15 minutes of presentation from the chair. If it's 10 minutes, 
Fair enough, we'll have more time to discuss. Uh, but yes, that's about the slot queue you have. And I'll go back, come back on the, on the role of the chair, which is for this workshop quite important. Um, seven block, twice, 15 minute talk from the session guests. Uh, try to yeah, introduce a bit the topic, have an idea of what is uh, done, but also their own work. It's, it's a way to know each other, uh, which is always nice like when we want to discuss. Uh, third block will be 30 minute group game storming. Don't be afraid. Uh, that's, I'm going to explain what is it. Uh, it should be nice, hopefully. Uh, it's going to do. It's going to be done for you by a group of four or five people, and you see that you're already kind of organized into groups uh, in these uh, this islands. Uh, so I'll go back on it. The important coffee break, 30 minutes. Uh, that's our buffer, so we can uh, make it quite flexible. <laughs> if you spend too much time discussing, which is really nice. Uh, we might shorten it a bit, but I think it, it, we also think it's quite important to have this kind of break because it's an, another way to, to discuss. It also gives us time to uh, reorganize the room if needed <laughs> between the third and the fourth uh, block, which is a debriefing where one representative per group will report what has been discussed and we try to gather all the ideas. Uh, finally, the fifth block is the final discussion where we are going to try to identify the key uh, points uh, on the key ideas to uh, potentially write a white paper. Yeah, I know I was organizing this, but why? <laughs> <laughs> is the, the briefing recorded and not the final discussion? Uh, yeah, I think the, the final discussion might be recorded too. Okay, then consider that it's blue there as well. No <laughs> <laughs> good point, good point. Okay. And so for the, from the chairman and the two speakers, are, are there any questions at that point or is it just straight through in terms of 50, 45 minutes of talks? No, 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 we can have four questions. No, we can already discuss that, but ideas like the main discussion would be, all, would be done in group on them during these two uh, parts. But because it's just after discussion, so we may have a few minutes for questions. Mm -hmm. Maybe pressing questions during the... Yeah. If we can keep them short. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, all of the chairs. I think chairs are quite important for this workshop. Uh, the few roles they have. So reintroduce what is the role of the topic, give some context if they can. Um, briefly introduce the speakers. I said briefly because they, we know that this kind of introduction can uh, stand forever, so we <laughs> <laughs> uh, Be careful with the timing. Uh, timing is our enemy there. Uh, so try to keep everything uh, within the, the, the time we, we decided. Um, then merge group ideas during the debriefing. You remember the fourth block here, the debriefing? Uh, they're going to have to lead a bit this part, uh, try to, to get people uh, to, to talk and also gather the ideas. But I will help with this part as well. Uh, I'll need the final discussion. Same thing, uh, we will we, we help with that. Uh, but the idea is like at the end, we need to have concrete stuff that's going to be written. So uh, it's important to have someone that leads a bit this part. Game Stormy. So I've dropped the, the, the word already twice in the title on, uh, in my uh, previous slides. Uh, so how we're going to organize that? To, just to, to remember, the third block of 30 minutes is going to be by group. Uh, we could have just, I don't know, organized this open discussion without any support and leave you write down, <coughs> someone write down things. But without that, it would be nicer to maybe uh, add a support for that. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to use some uh, techniques that I didn't invent, okay? I just took from the internet and I also discussed with Vera, she's part of BioExcel and we doing these kind of things uh, quite often. She's really a specialist, she helped me a lot. Um, so we're going to use for three out of the four topics the sailboat, uh, sailboat metaphor. Uh, ID is like, you're going to write a few words to describe an ID. And this uh, ID will be what makes the topic possible. What makes it complex? So what helps the boat to go forward? What uh, uh, makes it slow? The initiative that might already go in this direction, because we know that a lot of initiative already exist, uh, but then we have a way to list uh, them. On the actions that need to be taken, uh, what concretely need to be done to make this topic possible? Um, so your main I wouldn't say weapon, but your main support for that will be this uh, post-it you have on your table. You see, you have some uh, little piece of colored uh, paper. So uh, you're going to write ID there, 
you're going to have a support, you, you might have seen we have one, two, three, we might have another one, but if not, we're going to use one of the uh, flip boards where I will draw, and forgive me in advance for that, I will try to draw it, <laughs> put it in that way, uh, this board on all this uh, fancy uh, illustration, uh, and we'll put the post it on that, okay? Uh, so that's the first, uh, the first game we're going to do. Oh yes, I, of course we need that. Uh, mm -hmm. And for the tools for trajectory file sharing, since it's, it's a topic that is slightly different in the way that we're going to talk about a tool, um, we, just, we want more to gather uh, features rather than ideas. Uh, the way it's going to be a bit different, uh, I've, we've, we've made something that I call achievability map, uh, where you and find two scales where we're going to rank actually uh, the feature we might want to see, we want to see in, the, in this tool for trajectory file sharing. So the first thing is the importance of the feature, okay? Is it something that is rather optional or is it something that needs to be present in the tool? And the second scale is uh, how is it complicated to implement this feature? Is it completely impossible or will require like, a full postdoc for two years? Or is it something that actually almost already exists in the <coughs> or whatever, um, we just need to plug it all to it, okay? Um, and we have this not show sure part where yeah, you are free to, to put some, some feature there and we discuss all together where they might uh, stand in the scale. Uh, you might not have noticed, but there is something missing here, which is actually uh, the list of tools that already exist on my answers. Some of you might have already some of these features. Uh, so that's going to be added during the group, uh, the world group uh, gathering where we discussed about the tools that already exist. Okay? So, my next part was depending on how much time I have. Plenty of time. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know what? <laughs> let's play. Uh, let's try to practice already. Like that, to tomorrow every, everyone will be uh, more than ready. <laughs> Uh, so I've made kind of a simple uh, topic. I didn't come with a better idea than that. We have uh, five to ten minutes. Uh, I will tell you when we stop to uh, think about how to have a fruitful workshop in Stockholm. Uh, actually, we're not really in Stockholm, <laughs> but whatever. Let's assume it's okay. Stockholm server. That's fine. Uh, so let's start. You are by group already. You have the post-it. You have some uh, uh, pens. Uh, so you have from. Now on, this time for 10 minutes to think of what can make a fruitful workshop in circle. 